So here we go. So the way this is going to work in our new improved orchestra kit setup is that we are now sitting up here talking about orchestra kits and stuff. And we hop it down and we follow our regular script. But now we've introduced the idea of having a conductor in the middle. And we, we will step up first and we will walk up into the new, this is the new thing. And then we can give them a signal like start. Then we could do something like this. So that's it. That's it, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a recap of Composing for Change Part 28, Poise and Chill. In today's episode, we re-entered with some significant news. We have had to ship off our main computer for service, and we had to set up two backup computers, one a laptop and one a desktop. So happy, and in fact, this stream is on our back backup desktop. Having to go to backup computers has evolved our user interface streaming setup skills. We had to set up OBS on a new computer. We had to set up uh, MuseScore on a new computer. Um, we had to set up our 3D virtual environment, which you're seeing on the this one here, uh, on this uh, new computer, and, and then test it all and fiddle with settings and user interfaces. and. Even so, getting it working, which we did, we did, uh, is we're also having to get used to three different keyboard layouts, especially where delete, home, and end are, not to mention the arrow keys and other thingies, print screen functions, uh, reconnecting our OneDrive, and one computer can run this virtual environment platform, the other cannot. One computer is faster for editing certain things, blah, 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 blah. Anyway. So what we did was we decided to make, as we said at the intro, make a conductor's platform. And that verified we were indeed able to use our 3D build tool on the backup computer workably. Then we were also verified that we were able to get MuseScore. And we did a clean install of MuseScore and recorded that. So we're going to do a little standalone tutorial on clean install and first score and MuseScore. And then we made three uh, files so we can download. This one is just a standalone beat. And this one is eight beats in a row. And this is 16 beats in a row. And we downloaded those to um, our download area. This one does here. Uh, I think we already moved them over to the other place. Uh, we also made draw files. We made draw files like this, which you can see here. And so that, and then we're going to invite the participants in the demo to stand and be the conductor and pick one at a time, eight at a time, or sixteen at a time. And it's kind of fun because you can stack these. <laughs> More fun than a pair of monkeys. Uh, we also kept our eyes on our task manager, looking for whether the CPU is getting overloaded or not. The main thing we notice is that we're pushing the edges of our memory on this computer. It's eight, six gigabytes. We're used to twice as much as that. Um, the Wi-Fi is handling it okay, and uh, this, the, this basically the graphics are built into the CPU. So if we fly around and we were able not to overdrive the graphics card, and that's partly because we're carefully up here at the top. You'll see we set our kept our kept our graphics low. So this computer is working very well for uh, 
3D building. Our ideas for next time are to uh, make that MuScore clean install first score demo and uh, to be determined. We spent so much time getting that computer ready to ship that we're like, Ugh. but it did get shipped overnight and they've told us they got it. So we're looking forward to having it back in about two weeks. That concludes today's episode. Shout outs to Drive By Lurker. We appreciate you. And tune in next time to see what happens. I have to look up here. The camera is different here. Uh, do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.